M0FXB, welcome to my channel Zygu X6100. There is some new firmware here on the Zygu site dated 8th of September 2023. So let's check it out. And I have clicked download here. We'll have a quick look in a sec, see what's on it. It's taking quite a while to download, so it seems like it's quite hefty. I know that we've now got the sort of WFU software and some extra selections in the menu which allow us to use WFU. If you look here at this pamphlet, it actually does show up WFU on the screen when you're using it and there's an extra WFU server menu and some instructions which will all be in the link. Now I've already loaded this onto my X6100, but this firmware here on the Zygu site is actually newer. So let's uh, we'll let it download and then we'll swipe it onto our SD card, which is already plugged into the PC here. If you click the, the folder down here and then go to USB drive at the moment, it's blank. And what we're going to do is once we've downloaded this, have a quick look and then we'll swipe it in here and then we'll move it across to my Zygu and see what happens. We've downloaded it. There's the server PDF. It looks, it says the word Basecamp here. So I think that looks the same, WS server. Same file, SD card images here. So it might just be the same with a couple of tweets. Release notes, 1.17 August. And the base is 1.16 and it still says WF server, but it does say this cat echo thing. I think that's what's been added. Uh, so, okay. Let's uh, grab that file. So let's get it onto our X6100. Just going to use Bellina Etcher. You can download this. I'll just go back here. It looks like this. So when you open it, it looks like this you go flash from file select it select target f like so which is your usb looks like that click select and then when you click flash it will go all the way along until it flashes it we'll grab your sd card facing it this way we'll put it into our device Fiddly. Like so, it's turned off with the power supply on. Power supply is here. It will only look for an SD card firmware image when there's an SD card inserted, otherwise, it would just boot up like normal. So, in SD card inserted, let's turn it on. Like so, and it should just start to load the firmware. Flashing away. There it goes. Always a bit scary when you're doing this, isn't it? What you can see. And then it, when it's done, it will just turn off. It's counting down the power off. That's it. Take the SD card out. Turn it on. Okay, it's on. Let's go to look now system settings. I'll let it boot up properly. System firmware upgrade. I'm going to do the base. I'm not sure if you need to, but I'll do it just to be on the safe side. So you just push firmware upgrade, erasing flash. And you've got this red line.
let's go quit and we go system info turn to the left here 1.17 August 25th it says there I think that's the right one so we're all done if you go to the WF server window that's what you're seeing I have had a play with this already so we've now got the echo thing installed in the latest firmware so I hope this helps you thanks for watching my channel go back to the original window I mean it's a fun radio isn't it Bye for now, 7-3.